Hi friends, it's your favorite acting teacher. I just wanted to talk you through the ghost story because there have been a lot of questions. I'm glad for the questions. Please send questions. Please let me help. But I thought I might be able to clear some of that up just by sending out a quick email. Uh, so this is the assignment. You should have a ghost story that has been emailed to you. If you absolutely hate it, email it back to me and I'll send you something else. Um, and the details about the ghost story are all online. So you're going to take your ghost story, you're going to score your text, so you're going to first of all analyze it, figure out where the fulcrum is, so where the very unexpected information comes in that changes the entire story, right, and how you want to deal with letting that information out, how you want to guide your audience through the experience. You're kind of like the story tour guide in this experience. Um, how you want to develop the different voices of the characters because they should have different voices, right? This is a chance to go all out with everything that we've been studying. You're going to look at pitch, intonation, volume, fluency, rate of delivery, rhythm, and tone. All stuff that we've been talking about and all stuff that I know that you can do. As you rehearse this, consider how you're going to deliver it to your audience. So you may want to put your pages up on your laptop screen. That's what I've been doing when I've been working with text recently. If you're recording in a different way, you can figure out whatever works for you. It's not a problem for me if you want to hold it in front of you and be further back so that you're telling the story in an environment that you've created. Maybe you have a haunted house that you want to make. That's fine. We don't want to be reading our story, right? We don't want to be or head down like this because this is going to get pretty boring for everybody. Consider your entire appearance as you're as you're delivering your story. Uh, you will notice in terms of grading, so far it's kind of been did the assignment put a lot of effort into it? A plus or A. Uh, did the assignment eh, kind of half-assed it? C. Uh, didn't do the assignment F. Um, we're going to be a little bit more qualitative now in our assessments of what we're doing. So there is a rubric there that lets you know that we're really expecting you to do the analysis, um, think through the story, bring these voices to life in an intentional way uh, that makes an enjoyable performance experience for your audience. So you're going to record yourself doing your performance. Uh, I recommend that you upload it to YouTube and post a link to view it. When you upload to YouTube, you can turn it to unlisted. That means that nobody can see it unless they have the link. And then after you show your, your uh, monologue, feel free to turn that to private so that nobody can see it. If you are really uncomfortable with that and you want to submit it uh, on Blackboard or submit the link to me via email so nobody else has it, I'm okay with that too. I have not found a perfect solution yet to, um, to not using YouTube uh, for these videos. You will take your paperwork, so your printed out story that you have scored and annotated, written on what kinds of vocal techniques you want to use where, and your analysis, and that's up to you how you do that, but you, it should be marked and it should make sense. So for me, I'm a fast talker, you may have noticed, I will score the text with, um, I will circle punctuation marks that will help me slow down. Sometimes I will write slow, pause, I will put, I have a shorthand for commas, uh, I have a shorthand for volume, I have a shorthand for all kinds of things. You can develop your own, you can write it longhand, but put some thought into your delivery. You're going to take that document, snap a picture of it, and put it up on the assignment. So let me show you where that is. There's the grading schema. You can take a look at that. Um, I'm going to take you to the where you put hand in the assignment in just a second. Here's the Google document where you can put your link to your performance. If that doesn't work, a number of you have mentioned you've had trouble, you can just email it directly to me and I will look after that for you. Uh, let's see here. If we go up to the top and we click on that ghost story, uh, you will see that you're actually in the assignment and here's the place. This is exactly what was said in the in the description. You can browse your computer uh, to add your photo in that way and then you can hit submit and you are all ready. Tomorrow morning there will be a Zoom meeting. It is not mandatory but I always love seeing your faces. It gives me a chance to give you some immediate feedback and your colleagues to give you some immediate feedback um, and, and it's just to kind of connect so when we don't have to worry about being six feet distance and we can we can kind of talk to each other. So I really encourage you to come to that. It's not mandatory though. I recognize that for some people it's just not possible. If you have submitted your story uh, online, the scored text, and you've submitted your recording, you are good to go. We'll give some. I'll give you some details on how to give feedback to others if you're not in the Zoom meeting later this week. One other note: 
there is a school in Canada who are working with this same project and um, have invited us to have a little Halloween party with them. So I will talk to you guys about that tomorrow and on Thursday and see if we can't do something with them. They're a grade six class and I think it could be a lot of fun. All right. I am looking forward to seeing most of you tomorrow and everybody in class, in person, masked in distance, but bright eyed and bushy tailed on Thursday morning this week. Have a fantastic day. Thank <laughs> you.